Hello guys and welcome to my unboxing and review video about the Smack Band Huawei Band 7. It's mid-range Smack Band from Huawei that offers us 1.47 inch AMOLED display, ultra thin design, long battery life, it's supposed to last two weeks, hardware monitoring, scientific sleep tracking, automatic uh, oxygen saturation measurement, it has 96 workout mode, fast charging and water resistance 5 ATM, which means 50 meters. So let's take a look inside. So here you can find the smart band itself. What else is in the box? So some warranty card and manuals. Let's take a quick look at the charger. So standard USB-A, one side, the other side, magnetic connector which allows you to actually put it on a watch only from one side so you cannot connect it wrongly. And the total length is 60 centimeters. So let's take a look at the band itself. It's pretty much, uh, well, I mean, it feels heavy to be honest. The band itself or device itself has 16 grams only without the strap. And the strap is a uh, rubber material, and as you can see, it actually can fit pretty much uh, thick hand also. It seems like ordinary watch strap and can be changed as you can see here are the small levers which you need to just pull it to the side then you can easily change the strap we see the sensors down here thickness 9.99 millimeters you got one hardware button here on the right side, on the left side, <laughs> now and let's pull this down, as you can see 1.47 inch and let's turn it on for the first time. It's running Harmony OS. Look at the languages that it offers. Pretty much a lot of them compared to the different devices. So let's scan the QR code to download the app. So Huawei Health to the app gallery. So if you are running the Android, you need to actually download the App Gallery first. Or if you do not want to install App Gallery also, you can actually download via browser the APK file. And install it. That in this case, you actually need to give your phone permission to install from unknown sources. All right, so here we are. Get some statement. I need to give the application some permissions. 
And here we are. It's Let's connect the band. So you go to the devices, add level. So of course, turn on the Bluetooth. Okay, give it the permissions again. Of course, location and find. We'll just click on it and you need your Huawei ID. So after you sign in to Huawei Health App, the pairing will finish. You need to just confirm it on the watch. And that's it. So let's take a look at the watch. If we slide from top to the bottom, you can get to the Basic settings, screen on, quiet regime. This is find your phone. I'm here. You could hear that, I guess. Here you can set up the alarm straight from watch, which is perfect. I like it more than you than like compared to the different devices when you need to set up alarm through the app. You can do it with the watch, which is perfect. Here are the other settings. You can see display and choose a watch face. And also when you change the watch faces, let's just take a look at the few of them that are already in a watch. You can see the difference. A few of them have the settings wheel down here or gear wheel. For settings and in this case or on these watch faces you can actually change some of the stuff so what it will be shown see i will show you more in the app later then we've got always on function here and also under the always on you can choose from few of the watch faces for always on. Okay, you can actually set up your favorites. You can change the brightness settings with automatic radius at night, tap the wake screen some advanced so sleep or screen on times as you can see going back in the menu or from through the functions swipe from left to right you can choose uh, vibrations well strong and soft it's still the same vibration it's just the, the longiness because soft is just like or half second strong it's like one second long vibration do not disturb you, you can set up a pin some workout settings like auto detect workouts system updates so you can actually update your watch to here restart power off disconnect or reset so let's get back to the main screen and from the main screen you go to the from left to the right or from right to the left doesn't matter you go to the main menus to see your heart rate measurement oxygen uh, measurement weather and music control and here are your daily stats and if you press the have a button so you can actually start with the workout through here so you can see a few of them here you can actually customize it so add more of them or remove any of them 
you can see workout records through here, workout status, heart rate SpO2, activity records, sleep, healthy living, stress, breathing exercises. Music again, the same, notifications, weather, stopwatch, and timer, alarm, torch. So I'm going back to the application a little bit. The main screen, you can see your basic stats, daily stats, like steps or whatever, healthy living. You can set up, uh, of course, your weight height and so on you will see everything here later you can start the exercises from here you see of course courses here you can choose the exercises up here and settings here discover you can actually connect you up to the strava or commute and that the devices you can open your device you can see battery status again you will see your daily stats here watch faces many of them available like hundreds of them but some of them need to be bought or you can switch to the free you can see lots of free watch faces available also so no problem if you like to change your design this is way to go and still I can see many many settings you can set up quick replies also you can do some troubleshooting from here also It's a great thing. Weather reports can be turned on here. Device settings can also do factory reset, fiber update through here. Check the device info. And here you go to the me. You'll see actually all your data from the Huawei Health app. And here you can actually see all your achievements, data plans, whatever, even if you have more devices from Huawei. So you'll see. On this screen everything from all the devices so actually it's your profile you can change some settings here also so um, here you can see the high measurement it works continuously which is great let's measure the SPO2 let's check how long does it take? Okay, you can see it took, I don't know, half a minute, probably. Okay, let's take a look at the race to wake. Oh, it works great. Try it again. It's perfect, actually it works. It works perfectly. Also the music control interface works greatly. That's perfect. You can also see the song that it's playing and few more information, so basic information about the watch or band. The display resolution is 194 by 368 pixels. As I mentioned earlier, 1.47 inch AMOLED display. Uh, with interesting sensors, it has gyroscopic sensor accelerometer and the heart rate sensor is optical. For this band, you need to run at least Android 6 or above or iOS 9 or above. I think I mentioned that earlier, but it's water resistance up to 5 ATM or to 50 meters so you can actually swim in the shallow water or in the pool with this watch but you shouldn't 
use it for uh, deep diving or something like that. And for the connectivity, it uses Bluetooth 5. And the battery should last 14 days. But of course, if you have always on display turned on, so it will decrease the battery, of course. And charging time is approximately one hour. So that's pretty much it about this watch or band. Guys, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please uh, hit the subscribe button and see you next time.